In this video, we are going to talk about glycogenesis. Glycogenesis means formation of glycogen. So, glycogen is a storage material of animal body. Animal body stores glucose as glycogen. When we eat carbohydrate-rich food, the carbohydrate breaks down to glucose in our small intestine. Then the glucose gets absorbed in our bloodstream. Our body maintains a specific blood glucose level and the excess glucose gets absorbed in the liver cells. The blood which absorbs the glucose from the intestine goes to two organs first. It goes to liver and the pancreas. In presence of high glucose level in the blood, the pancreas beta cells release insulin. The insulin promotes the opening of the GLUT4 transporters. And because of that, the excess glucose gets absorbed in the cells of the liver. Inside the liver cell, the excess glucose can be converted into two types of product. One is lipid and the other is glycogen. Glycogen is a polymer of glucose and it is a branched structure. Just like liver, our muscle cells can also store glycogen. And in the period of fasting, that glycogen can be broken down into glucose and can be utilized by our body. Now we will see how the glycogen is produced from glucose. In the first step of glycogenesis, one phosphate group is added to glucose by an enzyme called hexokinase. Glucose is a 6-carbon compound and the first phosphate group is added to the 6th carbon and the product name is glucose 6-phosphate. In the next step, the phosphate group from the 6th carbon is carried out to the 1st carbon by the enzyme phosphoglucomutase. Now the glucose has the phosphate group in the 1st carbon. So it is called glucose 1-phosphate. Now in the next step, one molecule that is uridine triphosphate which is having 3 phosphate group will come into play and here that uridine triphosphate will leave the 2 phosphate behind and it will add up to the glucose 1 phosphate with only 1 phosphate group with it. So after adding up to the glucose it has total 2 phosphates so it is called the uridine diphosphate glucose as uridine diphosphate is added to one glucose molecule and the enzyme used is UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase and the product is UDP glucose. Now for generation of glycogen there is a primer protein called glycogenin. This protein can promote the formation of a glycogen chain having four glucose in it. After formation of 4-unit chain by glycogenin, the UDP glucose can now elongate the glycogen chain. And the enzyme used for this is glycogen synthase. When one UDP glucose attaches to the glycogen chain, the UDP gets released and the glucose adds up in the chain of glycogen. Now for branching, the enzyme used is branching enzyme. This enzyme can cut off a linear chain of glycogen and add up to the 6th carbon of a glucose in that chain. In the linear chain, the bonding is between 1st carbon and the 4th carbon. And in the branching, the bonding is between the 6th carbon and the 1st carbon of two glucose molecules. In the linear chain, the bonding between 1st and 4th carbon is called 1,4 glycosidic bond. And the bonding in the branching between 1st and 6th carbon is called the 1,6 glycosidic bond. After formation of the glycogen, it looks something like this. The glycogen in protein is present in between and the branching of the glucose spreads surrounding it. When blood glucose level drops, this glycogen is broken down into glucose for use. And that is done by the process glycogenolysis and we will talk about that in the next video. You can find the full page photographs in the Facebook and Instagram link. Thank you.